Well, uh, hello everybody. So uh, today I have uh, this Pioneer, uh, this Pioneer VCR DVD recorder combo. And uh, well, um, well, I will show you the the front uh, first. So uh, today, uh, what I will do, uh, I will uh, uh, open the DVD recorder part. So uh, you see here is the DVD recorder part and uh, there is a metal cover so I'm going to uh, take this off so we can uh, see uh, what uh, how it is made inside. So I will uh, have to remove the front uh, and then uh, I will uh, remove th these screws uh, here so I can uh, lift this out and then there are uh, some other screws that I have uh, to remove th this one and uh, there are some uh, on the side here so uh, that's uh, why I have to uh, remove it because uh, I have to unscrew uh, the screws that uh, are on the side uh, here. And uh, well, uh, I just uh, bought a new screwdriver, so uh, I can do this because my 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 other screwdriver, which uh, has uh, multiple bits, uh, it doesn't fit in there. But uh, this one, uh, so I bought this one, so I can do uh, things like that uh, with my VCR, so I can access uh, like uh, screws that are uh, that are in places like this. So I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna open that right now. So right now I got this unscrewed, and uh, so my new screwdriver it did uh, its job very well. So uh, now uh, this, this is uh, unplugged. So uh, this is the wire that uh, that uh, connects the electronic part of the DVD recorder, and uh, there was another cable here. So uh, this is like uh, the the power supply cable for the DVD recorder part. So this is a DVD drive. Uh, I can now uh, like a, a computer. So uh, this is a this is a cable uh, that resembles like a uh, the power supply of a computer uh, DVD drive. So this is the bottom. It's not opened uh, yet, la, but uh, uh, here you, there is something uh, that's that's probably uh, the motor that uh, opens and closes the drawer. So uh, now we will uh, remove these screws here. All right. I don't know if uh, we can remove these, but um, I will try and open this. So now this is the inside of the DVD recorder part. I have uh, removed the covers, and uh, so now you can see the inside. And I've plugged it uh, to uh, so I can open it uh, the drawer. And so this is the bottom side. So uh, there is a circuit board there, and uh, here's the motor that uh, opens the DVD drawer. So this is pretty nice, and uh, here. Uh, there is the laser, and uh, here there is the motor that drives the laser. Uh, it is just like in my Electro Home DVD recorder that uh, that uh, I recently uh, threw away, that I used to have. And uh, so it is a motor that, uh, like this, and it drives a, a shaft uh, like this. And this is what moves the laser. So uh, like uh, in most uh, DVD players, not recorders, uh, it is a motor. Uh, the motor that drives the laser is a motor like this, just like this. And uh, it uh, it is driving gears, and uh, that turns uh, the that moves the laser. But uh, in this one, and uh, it seems that it's like this in most DVD recorders, and also in most uh, uh, computer DVD drives. Uh, there is a motor uh, that drives uh, this uh, like this. So uh, I don't know why uh, I don't know why uh, DVD recorders uh, have uh, a motor like this. So I don't I don't know why it has a motor like this instead of a a motor like a. Uh, like the ejecting motor, like in most uh, DVD players, for example, like uh, in this Sony here, uh, the motor that uh, drives the laser is a motor, uh, a motor like uh, like this here. And so uh, this motor it uh, drives a belt, but uh, the belt uh, we can see it; it is under there. So uh, to access it, we will have to uh, to remove the drawer. And uh, to remove the, this uh, sliding part here. So right now I've pushed it and uh, I cannot uh, pull it back because, uh, like uh, the part that uh, this part here, the, it, it started to raise, so I cannot uh, open it uh, by pulling on it. So uh, that that's pretty much I wanted. To, uh, that's pretty much uh, all uh, that I wanted to uh, see in this. So right now I will uh, just uh, reassemble all that. Oh, and also I forgot to show you. Uh, there's the bottom plate, and there's the top the top plate. 
and uh, there's the the side uh, the the metal pieces uh, on the side that uh, that uh, hold the DVD recorder in place, and here's the metal part on the front, and uh, here uh, most of the screws were identical, but uh, there is three types of uh, screws, but uh, at least it's not all different screws, so uh, that's uh, that's pretty nice. Well, I just uh, changed the dial. Uh, I decided to remove the the drawer. I pulled it uh, to remove it, so we can see more of the, of the mechanism. So I decided to do that instead of uh, putting it back uh, right now. And uh, well, so what this is, uh, the, you can see the, we can, we don't see it uh, because it's under this. But uh, the motor it drives a belt like this, and it's basically like most DVD players. And uh, it drives uh, these gears, uh, this uh, gear here, and uh, this one uh, it moves the the drawer. With this, so uh, it's uh, like a basic uh, DVD player mechanism, like in all DVD players. So uh, the only uh, special DVD player mechanism is uh, the the one made by Funai, like uh, this one in my Philips combo here. This DVD player, um, it is the it uses the same motor to drive the laser and the drawer. So this one is special, but uh, in this one it's uh, like a basic uh, mechanism. And uh, this is the part that uh, this part slides, and uh, this is what uh, raises up the the DVD. Uh, the part with the laser, so I'll see if I can move it. Just try. Uh, maybe something is stuck. Like I, uh, I did it uh, just earlier. So you can see, I I just uh, got it, uh, and now we can see the motor. I don't know if it's normal that uh, there there is like a crack on the mod the the pull the pulley here. There's like a crack. Uh, it's probably normal. It works anyway. So uh, when the drawer arrives, uh, it just moves this one uh, this uh, piece a little bit, so uh, it get, it gets uh, engaged on this gear, and then it it raises the DVD drive. So uh, this is a mechanism like in all uh, DVD players. Well, uh, now I have uh, put back the DVD recorder part uh, here, and uh, it's, now it's uh, still working as good as uh, before I, uh, I took it apart. Now you can see it uh, ejects. It uh, it works fine. So uh, this was not uh, very hard to take apart, just uh, removing the, the screws, and uh, at least uh, no screw uh, got stuck. Uh, so. Uh, the, so it it uh, went well. It was not. Uh, it was uh, easy to uh, take apart. So now that that's pretty much it. And uh, goodbye.